guitar. Thanks for joining us today and uh, hope you're having a good one. Today we're doing um, such a beautiful song called Harvest Moon by Neil Young, who really, um, gosh, such an inspiration to me. Really love his, his writing and um, just an incredible musician all around, guitarist, piano, singer. Um, so Harvest Moon is a great drop D tuning and in fact the video before this one uh, is also in drop D, the Nirvana song I did. So two great drop D songs. Um, it's always good to have a few drop D songs in your in your arsenal of songs that you know. So I definitely recommend checking this out and giving it a go. And uh, check the description below for links and uh, different resources you can look into. Other than that, um, let's get started on this lesson and zoom in on the hands. All right, so we are in drop D tuning. So pause the video and, and tune down to uh, drop D, the, the low E string to D. Okay, so um, we have this great intro here, which is all the way up here. Um, if you don't have a cutaway, it might be a little uh, uncomfortable, but it's always good even if you don't have a cutaway to learn how to play up here. So we're going to do 12th fret, 4th string, 13th fret, 3rd string, 10th fret, 2nd string. And it actually starts with just a really quick pickup note on the fourth string open. So um, just one note before the actual progression starts. So fourth string and then a quick bass. So and then we place our fingers here on the twelfth, eleventh, and tenth fret, and we go. So we go down, pinky on the twelfth fret, second string, down, up, down. And it's a swing, um, which is kind of like similar to a blues shuffle, meaning the eighth notes are swung. So it's ba do ba 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 da. Okay, so you want to get that bounce going. Okay, after that we go. We have to change our, our, our position here. We go ninth fret first string, tenth fret second string, eleventh fret third string, and we go. Up, down, up, up, down, up. I'm sorry, I forgot to say. After this, after this down, up, down, you go E string again and then move. Up, down, up, up, down, up. 
Okay, so the whole thing, nice and slow. Repeat. Let's do it again. And last time. Bass. Okay? That's the intro. Now we're going to get to the verse. Kind of difficult, so that's why it wouldn't be quite a beginner lesson, but it's actually not too bad uh, once you kind of get the idea. So we're going to do 12th fret harmonic on the first four strings. First, second, third, fourth, and then seventh fret, fifth string. If you've never done a harmonic, a quick lesson on it is basically you barely want to touch the string right above the metal. All right, so. Um, If you do it too much, you'll dampen it too much, and if you do it too light, then you won't get a sound. So, so the rhythm is, and then uh, he starts singing, but we want to put our second finger on the second fret sixth string, and then third finger on second fret fourth string. So, Somehow I can't sing when I'm while I'm teaching, but uh, closer, what I have to say. So then we start strumming on this E minor chord. So uh, after you do this, down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, down, up, down, down, down. Okay, just a light strum on the E minor. Now in the studio they were able to just come a little bit closer and layer another guitar but we want to we want to have the rhythm keep going so that's what you do twice last time nice and slow come a little bit closer hear what i have to say and then a d chord okay so then we do d chord and then we do this little cool part here so it's d bass and then, the, and then the first four strings, down, down, up, down, up. And then after that, we go, you know, we lift this finger and we do second fret, second and third string and, and hit that on the upstroke. And then we bar the fourth string, second fret, and we hit the third and fourth string, second fret once. And then we hit fourth fret, fourth string. So the melody is so it's sorry. Third fret, second fret, second fret, fourth fret. Right? And um, and that repeats. Da 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 back to that D. Down, up, down, up, 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 up. Third fret, second fret, second fret, second fret. Okay. Now we go to this G chord. So it's a fifth fret, sixth string, and then fifth fret, fourth, fourth fret, third string, uh, third fret, second string. And if you hit the open E string, that's fine too. Go to the intro, which you've already learned, and then this whole thing repeats back to the G. And let's just play through it and practice it. Da, 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 da. And then the intro. Okay, good. Moving on to the chorus. E minor here and there's kind of a harp effect so we're going to mimic that with just going starting on the first string and strumming up says I'm still in love with you. and then an A and the strumming pattern there is uh, up down down up down 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 up down and that repeats for the other chords now we go to an A chord To A. On this harvest 
Bruce intro. See what I mean? That it's it's not that advanced because once we learn that hard part with the harmonics, it's really manageable. All right, let's do that again. That's really the hard part I want you to practice. Um, once you get that in rhythm and get that fast, the rest of the song kind of falls into place a little easier. So uh, practice that nice and slow. Feel free to rewind that and go over that. And then I think uh, the chorus and the, the pre-chorus and the um, this part is pretty, pretty doable. So let me know if you have any questions. And um, other than that, that's all the parts to this song. Uh, really pretty, obviously, and um, you can impress your friends or your girlfriend or your boyfriend with it. So there you go, and enjoy. All right, well done, everybody. So uh, you've got this song to work on, which is just a classic. And um, subscribe to MT Guitar if you haven't already, and uh, hit the notification bell. Thanks for all your support. And other than that, uh, have a great day, and um, looking forward to next lesson. Bye.